Hey, my name is Ashok. I'm a certified DevOps trainer at Skillogic. DevOps has been a buzzword in the market for the past few years. Now it's really happening. Every organization wants to get into DevOps. And obviously, there are lots of jobs in the market. But still, many are not clear about what DevOps is. They confused DevOps with, with a tool, with a framework. In this video, I shall explain you what DevOps actually is. Also, I shall discuss about DevOps, how relevant the DevOps for your career. Right. I think it's better to start with what DevOps is not before jumping into what DevOps actually is. We know what a development team does, getting requirements, doing the business analysis, coding, building, testing, refactoring the code, etc. And we know what ops are. They are the one who are interacting with the customer, providing the service with a minimum interruption and also handling all kinds of support activities which is raised by the customer. So what we have to know about DevOps is DevOps is not a union of development and operation teams. We are not talking about a new breed of superhumans who can do both Dev and Ops work and we don't need to deal with Dev and Ops separately. That's not the concept. That is not DevOps. DevOps is not a tool or a product. It is not like you are implementing SAP ERP software in your organization. If somebody is trying to tell you you can buy DevOps for a license, uh, don't believe them. DevOps, in my opinion, cannot be productized. You might hear people talking about DevOps it does not exist. It's just some concepts which are not practical. I tell you, DevOps is real thing. It's not a myth. Also, it's not a future concept. There are many companies already benefiting from DevOps practices. Here are the few companies who are benefiting from DevOps practice. Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, Apple, etc. So, what is DevOps? If you look at the Wikipedia definition, DevOps is a cultural and professional moment that stresses on communication, collaboration and integration between software developers and IT operation professionals while automating the process of software delivery and infrastructure changes. The DevOps fundamentally extending the agile concepts from development to operations and promoting consistent culture where developers and operations team work together as one team. This is achieved through automating the process of development and delivery as well as inculcating collaborative behavior among the dev and ops team. To understand the behavioral aspect of dev and ops, you need to understand their fundamental objectives. Dev works is measured by quality of the code and the number of successful changes that has been delivered to the operations. Whereas operations performance is gauged by uninterrupted service and customer satisfaction. So as you can see, Dev wants rapid changes pushed and ops want stability so that so they resist change. And that's the reason you, you always see that ops are obscure only a small window on the weekends where you have you don't have much customers for any change deployment and if it happens that the change fails the dev has to wait for the next deployment window the behavior of resisting the change is coming from their objective of you know uh, uh, uninterrupted service this makes dev and ops to act as a separate teams creating silos and not really interacting or collaborating with each other also tend to create more bureaucratic processes around hindering the communication, creating trust issues so that they can ensure their own interest is not compromised. This we call it as wall of confusion. As you can see, the objectives of each team, dev and ops, are directly conflicting with each other. So if you want to move towards DevOps, the first thing you would be doing is restructuring their objectives in such a way that the interests of both dev and ops teams are aligned to create a culture that's more agile and responsive to business. So what is DevOps again? It's a culture that promotes dev and ops to work more collaboratively 
and quality assurance which is a, a green circle over there in the diagram playing an important role in nurturing this culture and putting processes in place to ensure that the desired quality is being delivered. The next important aspect in DevOps is automation. Automation can be done broadly in three phases. Phase one is automated testing. You might heard about the words like code coverage, which means that the, the percentage of code covered under automated testing. If you have a 10% code coverage, you probably may not be able to catch enough errors to get the confidence to move to the next level. The code coverage should be around 90% near to get the real benefits of automated testing. Once you have enough code coverage for testing, you begin the process of continuous integration. You might heard about Jenkins is one of the popular tool for continuous integration. Jenkins is an awesome tool. It submits a report with information about the failed tests and where to look for fixing it and all sorts of things. The next phase is continuous delivery. Let's take a detailed look on this because it's, it's important and has a real business value. There are lots of tools, hundreds, even thousands available in the market in automating the cycle process we just discussed. They are collectively called as DevOps tool chain. These tools are selected based on the requirements of the organization, existing infrastructure and ease of deployment among other factors. Some of the popular ones are shown in this picture. You have Chef, Puppet, Docker, uh, Jenkins, we have GitHub, we have uh, uh, VMware, etc. This is where you start the planning and then you write code. Git, as you might aware, is the most popular tool for for managing your effective code right and used widely across the globe after you code it goes to the build and test where we do it in an automated way through continuous integration you just had a discussion about jenkins that's the most popular tool in continuous integration all right and, and the release cycle is an important one a new technologies such as puppet and chef is being used nowadays to deliver the tested code in an automated way to operational environment also the technologies like docker uh, really makes your code base portable so it can be deployed in any system and server this brings us to cloud infrastructure amazon web services is the most popular in the space these days once the code is deployed and in operation we use various tools to monitor the health and working of the application and the it infrastructure overall we not only look at a technical perspective but also the business outcomes. New Relic is one of such tools to monitor IT infrastructure. Then we are back to the planning. Through this process of plan, code, build, test, release, deploy, operate, monitor using the tools we have discussed, we can achieve a faster releases in an automated way and, and move towards the DevOps culture. Why DevOps matters? As you know, market trends are rapidly changing not just from technology evolution perspective but also the whole business models are changing in a significant pace so keeping up with the change and being responsive is becoming one of the biggest strategic advantage for any organization thereby faster time to market really is a top priority of the business making devops also a major strategic move for the organization Agility and responsiveness are becoming very important factors for business to keep up with the market trends. And DevOps helps to achieve this by improving communication and collaboration between Dev and Ops. Also automating the entire process from development to delivery using DevOps tool chain. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Both Dev and Ops supporting the business in responding to market needs with increased speed, high quality and higher stability. Careers in DevOps DevOps engineers is the number one hardest IT job to fill in US and Canada. This is reference from Indeed.com. This kind of indicates how much potential, how much demand in the market for DevOps resource. Many companies claim that DevOps resource constraints is a major roadblock in their digital transformation efforts. 
In a report from CA.com, it stated that an average starting salary of DevOps professional worldwide is about one or six thousand US dollars per annum. I can tell you this is much higher than any IT professional, especially as a starting salary. There are few job titles out there related to DevOps, but it's not really clear yet. But there are job titles like DevOps engineer who are actually a part of this transition of a DevOps culture. DevOps tool specialist who will be specializing in one of the tool chain in DevOps or bunch of tool chains in DevOps and a DevOps automation expert who is kind of like driving the DevOps automation end to end. As the DevOps is in the nascent stage of adaption by the majority of the organization, it would be a good opportunity if you plan to jump into DevOps domain and you can see an exponential growth in the career in coming few years. Skillogic is an authorized training center for DevOps across the globe under the license of DevOps Institute US, a global apex body for DevOps certification. Skillogic provides two kinds of certification in DevOps. One is DevOps certification training. This course is focused on what is DevOps and how to adopt DevOps to an organization. It's more on the process level and architectural level, does not deal with tool installation, coding and configuration. The certification exam will be conducted by DevOps Institute US. The second one is on tools training focused on major tools in DevOps tool chain including Git, Ant, Jenkins, Puppet Chef, Amazon AWS, New Relic and Linux shell scripting. It deals detail, detailed about the tools including installation, configuration and the coding to the extent required to automate the DevOps implementation, the automation part of it. Skillogic is also into DevOps consulting services. With the deep roots of more than a decade in ITL and project management consulting, Skillogic successfully proved to be one of the best DevOps consulting company. If you are an organization looking to adapt DevOps, let us know how can we help you to achieve your goal. I hope this video has provided you with good overview of what DevOps is and how relevant DevOps is for your career and for your organization. If you have further questions, please drop me an email to ashok at skilllogic.com. Have a great day.